Well, let's talk about what's good for the brain, bad for the brain, starting with AI. The reason why I wanted to speak to both of you is because I have frankly become pretty addicted to using ChatGPT and some of these other AIs and large language models every single day, all the time. And then this study came out from MIT. It was 54 participants who were recruited from five universities in Boston, MIT, Harvard, et cetera, et cetera. And they had the participants split into three groups, had them writing different essays over, I think it was four months. One group used ChatGPT, one group used Google, and one, one group had no tools. And they had to write these four essays over a, a period of time. And astonishingly, MIT found a 47% collapse in activity and brain connections when people wrote with ChatGPT compared with writing unaided. EEG scans showed the weakest overall brain activity in the ChatGPT group. The no tool group, who didn't use anything, they didn't use Google or ChatGPT, lit up the widest neural networks and Google search was second. After using ChatGPT, participants couldn't reliably quote their own essays minutes later and their memory scores plunged. ChatGPT users felt little or no ownership over the text that they had produced and didn't feel like it was their work at all. And when the AR group was forced to write without help in session four, their brain stayed in low gear under engagement, showing the cognitive debt lingers even after the tool is taken away. It kind of scared me a little bit because I use these tools every single day. And this suggests that it's taking away some of our critical thinking and cre creativity and long-term learning. 